In this tutorial, we've already got all our settings correct for Robot C, and now we want to put some simple commands in to make some motors run. I'm going to focus my attention on the left hand side under the natural language heading. If I click the plus sign by natural language, it gives me some commands that I'll be able to do. In this class, we're going to use movement, wait, until, and special as the four commands we'll see throughout the quarter. I'm going to start with movement. If I click the plus sign by movement, I see that my choices are to set a servo, start a motor, or stop a motor. I have some motors already set up on my test bed and I'd like to start them. All I have to do is grab the start motor command, I click and drag it to my workspace, and I can let go. I have to drop it between the two curly brackets because everything between the curly brackets is officially my program and the computer will read that. If I click anywhere else on the screen it will unhighlight and I see that it says start motor, motor port, and speed. For motor port I have to tell the computer which motor I want to have started. So I'm going to double click that word. You notice that it's highlighted and I can change motor port to either right motor or left motor or the claw motor if I choose. I'm going to type in right motor, R-I-G-H-T, no space, but I do have to capitalize the M in motor. I see that now it says right motor. Speed has to be between 0 and 127. The plus numbers are turning clockwise. Negative numbers, 0 to negative 127, would turn the motor counterclockwise. I think I'm going to choose a middle of the road speed of 70. Okay. Now this command just reads, I'm going to start my motor, the right motor, and it's going to go at a speed of 70. I want it to run for 3 seconds. Now I go back to my natural language command. I go down and click the plus sign on wait. Because I want the computer to wait until it starts to execute the next command. So I click on the word wait. I drag it to my workspace. and I let go of the mouse button. When I see the flashing cursor. Now what's highlighted is wait, wait time. I click anywhere else on the screen and I see that it's there. I need to change the word wait time to a number. So I double click on the word wait time. I'm going to simply type in the number 3. Now the computer reads it's going to start a motor, the right motor, at a speed of 70 and it's going to run for 3 seconds. I don't have to write the word seconds, every number automatically defaults to seconds. After that happens, I want to stop my motor. So I find the stop motor command on the left side, drag it under the wait command, let go of my mouse button, and click anywhere in that workspace. Now it says stop motor. I need to make sure that it says right motor just like I started, instead of motor port. So I'm going to double click the word motor port and on my keyboard I'm going to type in right motor with a capital M and no space between the word right and motor and my command should be complete. I can check for errors by clicking the button that says compile program and any errors will be listed in the bottom window. So I'm going to go ahead click compile program I notice that there's no errors that appear on the bottom so my code should have been written correctly. If I have a robot connected, like my test bed, I could plug those cords in, first into the Cortex, then into my computer, and I would click Download to Robot to make this work.